in the habit of rendering more service and better service than one is expected to render. Good evening, everybody. We are reading Robert Greene's The Daily Laws. Today is November the 15th, and I used the stitch of Napoleon Hill because he wrote The Master Keys, The Laws of Success, and in the stitch, he's talking about going the extra mile and doing more than is expected. It's part of the laws of attraction. And it ties into today's title, Adopt a Generous Spirit. We all carry with us traumas and hurts from early childhood. In our social life, as we get older, we accumulate disappointments and slights. We are often haunted by a sense of worthlessness, of not really deserving the good things in life. We all have moments of great doubt about ourselves. These emotions can lead to obsessive thoughts that dominate our minds. They make us curtail what we experience as a way to manage our anxiety and disappointments. They make us turn to alcohol or any kind of habit to numb the pain. Without realizing it, we assume a negative and fearful attitude toward life. This becomes our self-imposed prison. But this is not how it has to be. We can free ourselves. It comes from a choice, a different way of looking at the world, a change in attitude. This freedom essentially comes from adopting a generous spirit towards others and our, towards ourselves. By accepting people, by understanding, and if possible, even loving them for their human nature, we can liberate our minds from obsessive and petty emotions. We can stop reacting to everything people do and say. We can have some distance and stop ourselves from taking everything personally. Mental space is freed up for higher pursuits. Once we feel the exhilarating power from this new attitude, we will want to take it as far as possible. Daily Law. When we feel generous towards ourselves and others, they feel drawn to us and want to match our spirit. The Laws of Human Nature. Number eight. Change your circumstances by changing your attitude. The Law of Self-Sabotage. So, so many times in my life, I've seen where I've done something, maybe I thought it was insignificant, you know, as far as helping somebody else out, but that generosity of doing something else for somebody else, even when sometimes I I don't really have it to be doing everything, but Sometimes it's not even money. Sometimes it's some insight. Sometimes it's uh, giving somebody some advice about something that they didn't have any knowledge of. Uh, teaching them how to apply for a different type of job. Like in my job, there's all these ways that we can get bonuses and, and different things to, to get ourselves ahead. I teach other people how to do that. That's generosity too. It's not just in monetary things where you could be generous. So in attitude, when you do something extra, when you when you go the extra mile, that comes back to you eventually. Somebody's gonna see and notice that that person, man, they they got a generous spirit. They're doing something good. They're always trying to help other people. That comes back to you. It always does. So y'all have a good evening. Do something good for somebody else. Always pay it forward. And y'all have a good night. And join me tomorrow. We'll do it again.